Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a soil mechanics problem, and in particular, we're going to be solving for the void ratio. Uh, so here's what the question says: A sample of moist soil has the following characteristics. Uh, our specific gravity is 2.6. Our volume, as sampled, is 0.53 cubic feet. Our mass, as sampled, is 57.73 pounds of mass. And then our mass oven dried is 49.32 pounds of mass. The void ratio of the in situ soil is most nearly what? All right, so this is going to be a great practice problem. If you're looking for some page numbers on this one in the FE reference manual, you're going to be looking in page 259. And then in the PE reference manual, you're going to be in page 140 and 141. All right. And getting this guy fired up, what are we solving for? We're looking for the void ratio. And so the formula for this one's gonna be E equals the volume of the voids over the volume of the solids. Okay, and remember the volume of the voids is actually equal to the volume of the air plus the volume of the water. So you can imagine whenever you basically evaporate the water, that water got trapped in the voids. And so that's why you include the volume of your water and the volume of the air because sometimes you know you can have a fully submerged sample where there's no air or you can have something as sampled where it's going to have a combination of both it's going to have a volume of air and a volume of water so in this case we have that so let's let's break down what it gives us it says the volume as sampled is 0.53 cubic feet uh, basically that's our total volume and so i'm going to break this into units that we can understand um, that's our total volume of our sampled so that's as sampled that includes water and air so this is 0 0.53 cubic feet and then it gives us a mass as sampled this is our total mass okay and that one's 57.73 pounds of mass uh, and then it gives us an oven dried sample so that tells me that after the water has evaporated remember air doesn't weigh anything however water does so whenever you stick it in the oven and you evaporate the air the water's gone um, so this right here means that we have the mass of our solids only there's no water and air doesn't have a mass so that to me tells me that we have a mass of our solids this guy is going to be 49.32 pounds of mass all right, and so let's remember a fundamental relationship here. Our mass total, so our total mass uh, minus the mass of our solids gives us the mass of the voids. Okay, and let's think about this. Whenever you uh, weigh a sample, okay, you can have the total mass. The total mass includes the mass of your solids and the mass of your voids. The mass of your voids is the mass of your air, which is equal to zero, and you have your mass of your water. Okay, so hopefully that kind of makes sense there. So that's what we're gonna do, um, and that's where that relationship came in. We we take away the solids out of that total mass, and we're left with the mass of the voids. And so when we do that, you're gonna end up with 57.73 pounds of mass uh, minus 49.32 pounds of mass and we're left with 8.71 sorry 8.41 pounds of mass so let's remember air doesn't have mass and so in this case this is the mass of our water this is equal to the mass of our water in our sample okay um, so let's remember a relationship basically what we need to do is we need to solve for the volume of our water we need to solve for the volume of our air uh, and we need to solve for the volume of our solids well the way that we can do that we can remember a relationship rho equals mass over volume so density equals mass over volume and uh, and when we do that we can think of something like this I'm going to scroll down so when we use this relationship Rho equals mass over volume we can solve for the volume of water and the volume of solids fairly easily uh, and the way that we can do that is 
the density of water in US units because we're using pounds we know we we know we're in US units we know we need to use 62.4 pounds per cubic foot this is equal to the mass of our water which remember we just solved for that that's 8.41 pounds of mass over the volume of our water boom so now we can solve for the volume of the water this guy is going to end up being 0 0.135 and that's cubic feet and we can do the same thing for solids so let's go ahead and do that um, what we're going to do is we're going to go we're going to have to multiply the specific gravity of 2.7 times the density of water so that way we can transfer it into the density of our material so that's just a relationship you may need to memorize for the exam uh, 62.4 pounds per cubic foot and this guy is going to be equal to 49.5 32 pounds of mass over the volume of our solids. So when you solve for the volume of our solids, you end up with 0 0.293 cubic feet. Alright, so let's scroll down here. Let's think for a second. We have volume of water, we have volume of our solids. What else do we need? Volume of the air. Well, remember, it gives us a volume total. So we can solve for the volume of the air. Let's do that. Volume total is equal to the volume of your water plus the volume of your solids plus the volume of your air. Okay, so the volume of the solids plus the volume of your voids equals your volume total. Uh, and this guy is going to be equal to, let's see, the volume of our water was 0 0.135 cubic feet. And then the volume of our solids was 0 0.293 feet, cubic feet. And we don't know the volume of our air. Let's remember that the volume total that it gives us in the problem is 0 0.53 cubic feet. All right. So when you solve for the volume of our air, this is just manipulation at this point, the volume of the air ends up being 0 0.102 cubic feet. So we have everything that we need now. Let's revisit our original formula that we had. Uh, we said that the void ratio is equal to the volume of the air plus the volume of the water over your volume of your solids. Let's do that. Void ratio is equal to the volume of the air plus the volume of the water over the volume of your solids. Well, this guy is going to be 0 0.102 cubic feet plus volume of the water is going to be 0 0.135 cubic feet over the volume of the solids 0 0.293 cubic feet and hey well I've got you here if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com keep it up you can do this if you haven't I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources uh, to help you pass your FE and PE exam the first time. So with that said, the answer for this one's going to end up being 0 0.81, so 81% voids. Let's scroll up and it looks like it's going to be B. So just a heads up, if you happen to only use the volume of the air over the volume of the solids you would have gotten a wrong answer uh, if you use the volume of the water over the volume of the solids you would have gotten a wrong answer uh, there's multiple ways that you could have messed this one up but this is the correct way to do it and I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time